Hi everybody, welcome to my workbench again. Uh, on part one of our uh, new project, the Olga from the Second World War. In my previous videos I showed you this, these, the same items, only that there are some items uh, added to it. What I also mentioned was uh, our second uh, ECH-21. We have that as well now. And we have our uh, uh, rectifier for the, for the power supply, we have that. We have an, uh, a socket for uh, our transmitter, our 6L6. We have a switch, it is a three-way switch, so it doesn't really matter. Three-way switch, uh, it has no uh, thread on the front either, so we can't really mount them. We have to mount them in a certain way. There is an, uh, a shield between those two decks so I could use uh, the main uh, uh, plate for that to, to shield that, I have to look at into that then I did find uh, our uh, how you call it, our bogus uh, <laughs> IF cans so they can freely to buy in, uh, in the shop so I have yet another, another two and I have another part from this on there so, uh, I have need three of them, so I'm going to use that, and I'll show you what I put in there. I have two uh, 455 uh, coils, the IF coils here. There you go. Yeah. 455 coils, and they will fit nicely in there. So we put them in there that way. Makes two holes in here, make a bigger hole there, put two uh, small holes with some little bolts and we can bolt them down so we, we are exactly where we want to be. And then for our BFO, our little coil here, there's an oscillator coil is that, it says 455 oscillator coil. So I'll uh, see what I'll do with it, if I'll, if I'll remove this print or not. I'll have to see what I'm... Um, he will fit there in there as well, so uh, obviously. I have just uh, to make up my mind how I'm going to uh, uh, put them in there that they don't move at all. So uh, you can see that the answer is already there if you see this uh, little print. If you will cut it off on the sides, and you will be able to uh, solder them onto, onto the side, and then it will be, uh, will be there forever, if you know what I mean. You can connect up the wires and that will be it, so it's easy. So uh, there you go guys, and uh, yeah, our uh, main uh, power supply, our transformer you know. And then we have some, some material here, I have some more material somewhere else. So I'm going to use that now. And I'm going to uh, make that frame for our uh, receiver. And uh, I'm taking from there. Uh, uh, yeah, there's nothing more to say, I suppose. So we uh, carry on and uh, see you later. Welcome back, guys. Uh, in front of you, you see the picture how the auger looks like. On the top, you can see uh, the receiver in the middle with the meter and the two knobs that is the transmitter. And on the bottom, of course, you have the power supply. And you can see it fits only neatly, neatly in that uh, suitcase. Uh, I endeavoured to uh, make my own suitcase, and uh, I will show you. Hold on. Hi right, guys, in front of you, you see uh, the suitcase I endeavoured to make. As you can see, it is uh, completely of wood, and it has uh, the trimmings of uh, of leather. Anyway. Uh, I do not uh, intend to use leather, something that it looks like. I can uh, yes, all, already all of that. And you see also those nice nails in there as I try to get them as well. Uh, the only uh, difficult part is uh, the handle. Uh, as you can see that is leather. And uh, I'll have some ideas uh, to make that kind of thing. So uh, there's nothing to, uh, anymore on the market to uh, to get something like that so okay back to our uh, workbench 
Okay, then we're back on the workbench. You see, I'm uh, working out how uh, things have to be placed. So I just got myself uh, a piece of metal, a piece of aluminum. I uh, cannibalized that from something else, uh, another project, but it didn't finish. So I'm more of those uh, nice uh, pieces so I can use. So I'll fit all. Uh, fit that into size and I'll make the, so the, so the side parts of it and the front part and yeah, they have that as well so they, I won't use this piece uh, that will be done in front of it so I have to work out uh, how I'm going to put my uh, tuning capacitor so I uh, put that in front of here already so this will be the first uh, ECH21 uh, but uh, the reception coils I don't know if you can see it, but the reception coils and also our uh, oscillator coils will come, will be come underneath and uh, I have a little bracket for that as well. As well. I did find that in my, uh, in my trash. So I never throw anything away, so all you can see is it's, it's fitting nicely with, with uh, the switch in and the two coils on both sides. But it's just uh, bend it over, make a bracket of it and uh, put it in. Not higher than is necessary, of course. And then we have to make a bracket for uh, our uh, tuning capacitor. Work out uh, the distance for our, uh, uh, our little uh, scale. And we are using just a normal uh, CD for that, so that doesn't matter. That works. It's very important. Then we have here our uh, second ECH. Uh, that will consist of our detector. The second valve is the detector, and we have the, the tickler down here. Yeah, but down here we have our uh, our BFO. Yeah, there we have an amplifier and an amplifier, and then there you have your uh, uh, headphone. So anyway, anyway, I want to point out are uh, those two things. There's one point that's coming out of the receiver. There is a cable that goes down to uh, the uh, uh, transmitter, and the other one that comes from the transmitter to, to the to the power supply. So I, it's just the opposite what I actually wanted, but I didn't find anything else. So hold on. So what happens? This has to be mounted inside. So this this thing has to go in, so that it's a bit secure, because otherwise it will be uh, dangerous to uh, to use. Well, you can uh, take them apart. See, you can put all your connections on there, and you just screw that back, and then put, just just plug it in. That's it. Just plug, plug and play. Okay, <laughs> uh, that's all. So uh, we we'll put that back together. So we we'll have to uh, do this all, and uh, I'm going to start off this uh, this little endeavor. See where, where we end up. I'm going to come back to you when I uh, drill the holes, and so on and so on. Uh, it's now Sunday and Tuesday I'm going to get those, those two, uh, what I need. So uh, you have to be patient, uh, well I'll tell them on the video, but you don't know that yet. So um, yeah, I have to be patient as well, so to get that stuff all uh, from uh, the shop, which is uh, Tuesday is open. So I'll get my missing parts. And I try to uh, get our receiver on the road. Then, of course, I go to the shop and get some wood. Uh, uh, I don't know why that's called in English. I'm only going to try, I have to look it up. Anyway, um, I'll get that, I will uh, uh, saw that with my saw and uh, in the, in the right size, and I will glue that all together. It has to be glued with wood glue, and, and so on and so on. So I have to fit that this part. I have to fit that in that uh, suitcase at first. So that's very important. I have the right size. That's why I'm uh, making this part yet now, because uh, I have to work from there all the sizes, and, and I think it will be about 60 centimeters by 30 or 35 centimeters. I don't know. 
Um, I want to uh, make it look uh, nice. Um, uh, it probably will be uh, 20 centimeters or whatever, how many inches are that? Uh, 10, 4, 3, 8 inches, inch, a bit more than 8 inches high. Something like that. That's more, more than that, 20 centimeters. 4 inches, 8 inches. Eight inches, I think ten inch, perhaps by nearly ten, near ten, or nine or ten inches. I don't know. I'm not familiar with uh, the size of my usual only centimeters. That's why right. uh, I'm going to get this bottom plate uh, on the road. So you can only just cut them to size, set all the the angles on the on the on, the, on that uh, aluminum, and then I'll start drilling holes. But they have to be. I will refer to uh, the information I've got on the side so I'll put that on and then I'll come back to you okay oh, welcome back everybody as you can see uh, on my workbench I'm, I'm quite busy at the moment so uh, I had my switch I took him apart and I made myself a bracket to uh, put that switch on and show you that and so uh, Hole there, of course. Uh, I will assemble that first thing. I'm going to do is to uh, get this bit of piece of metal, get that in an angle 45 degrees, two holes to uh, put some rivets in. And this, those holes here are uh, for the coils, yeah, to, to uh, get the coils uh, tightened up. And uh, this is for our switch, so I will do that next. And uh, I'll come back to you, okay. There you go guys, nice in an angle and uh, we will assemble now uh, uh, our uh, switch, I uh, have to assemble them uh, that way, be careful that the bolts go in. There we go. Get the rooster parts in. Get our switch back on top. <laughs> oh, stupid. Uh, well, that, that, no. Come on, then. There you go. Oh, a, bit, a bit awkward. There we go. I have to explain something to you. Hold on. Just get those nuts on there. On those little bolts. There we go. Oh. I see something I could do. I will do probably also. You see those uh, little things here? Keeps the distance from the uh, see the axle is just just in there. I don't know if uh, the space is not very big between the metal and the switch itself, so I could uh, grind off a little bit so that uh, the, 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 the disc goes a bit deeper. But uh, yeah, I'm just thinking ahead if some um, something uh, crops up. But there we go. Yeah, okay, the thread is a bit damaged from this uh, little bolt. But I do it with my fingers because with your fingers you have control, with the pliers you don't. So, anyway, guys, this was the little plate between in the, in the switch to separate one neck from the other. So, we replaced that with uh, this bracket. So we can uh, fit our coils on there. Where's my uh, pipe? There we go. Well, actually that would be 15 millimeters, and this is 90 millimeters. So we have to put it on there on both sides. There you go. That side and that side. So this will be the reception coil on this side, and that side that will be the oscillator. All right. So there's a three uh, three-way switch. So. Gives you the advantage of putting them in the middle and it won't do anything. Alright? The other part is 
from this uh, from this uh, uh, construction is that this is going to wobble a little bit. You can see that straight away. So we have a solution for that. We put some, uh, some an axle mount in there that comes on the front from uh, and that will support it a little bit. All right. So also you have to bear in mind how long this coil is going to be. So I don't think it will be that long, but there again. Yeah, see, I have considered the first thing, uh, making big holes in there, so the whole part goes through. But there again, uh, you have to put windings on, uh, uh, turns on, on each side of, of the two different coils. So you can't really... Uh, and go, uh, go and go in there and uh, push it through too. And if that uh, hole is too big, apart from you probably you will distort this bracket, um, you can't really uh, uh, mount it anymore. So uh, you have a lot of trouble there. So uh, to prevent that, I will just cut little pieces off, make the coil on there, and then fix it in, with a bolt on both sides, and then sit and it will. Of course, the, the, the metal will uh, have influence on the, on the inductance of the coil, but it doesn't really matter. Um, that, that won't be that much anyway. So, uh, but anyway, you have to get, you have the idea what, uh, what I'm going to do. So it will be mounted like that, and the coils will be on here on both sides, and that's that. And the other point I want to make is, um, oops, sorry about that. I have to. Readjust the camera a little bit. Okay, just a uh, focus. Well, uh, at the first uh, part of the film, I had the uh, capacitor like that. I'm not going to do that because we have the mountains here, so we can have room enough. To is longer than uh, actually is intended, so uh, it's a couple of two centimeters longer, one or two centimeters longer than the original was, was mounted in there. Doesn't really matter though. And uh, we put them in there. And, so we, and then we can move them up, up and down where we want to have them. So we can uh, get the axle straight from the switch and from uh, the tuning, all right? So that's that. So I uh, put our uh, uh, sockets on there yet. I have that bottom on, I didn't drill the holes yet, that's what I mean. Um, I'm going to do that next. And more tomorrow uh, I will uh, get my uh, uh, parts uh, for uh, my coils. So I can move them up a little bit. This distance is, this is, this is, this is also bigger, so it should be actually 11 centimeters, and this is 15, I think. 15, 11, 12 centimeters. It's a couple of centimeters small, but it doesn't matter. The room doesn't really matter because you can move parts together. Okay, so that's that. I'll show you what I've done so far. As uh, you can see, that uh, with a knife, I carved in some some lines and so I cut uh, uh, the corners out with my tool. There's my tool. And um, what I'm going to do next on my uh, workmate, I will uh, bend those uh, in uh, 45 degrees or 90 degrees, what is this? Uh, no, 90 degrees. And then I will uh, get my uh, side parts from an existing, uh, uh, say, uh, project rather than finish. So I'm going to use that. So I can put that on there, like that. Okay, so we have to uh, do the same thing, uh, take the measurements, bend it over and put it, uh, rivet it on the side, so we, then we can put on this side, we can uh, put our uh, front, so uh, that is too high, that should be 15.5 centimeters, that's more, that's nearly 19 centimeters. What I will do is cut this part off on the bottom, and that leaves me enough space to uh, uh, you get that right, okay? So that's so far I've got. Tomorrow also I will uh, get my wood for uh, a suitcase. I will endeavor uh, to get also the, the locks and the, the hinges. Um, the grip I will uh, have an idea, so I will work that out. 
and uh, I ordered already uh, the leather or, or what we call leather uh, to uh, get that uh, suitcase on the road. So uh, what I do now, I will shut off this part one, and uh, I will come back to you uh, with that part two, and then we have this drilled and we uh, mount it all together and get our uh, things in place, uh, put our bracket in place with our switch, uh, work out the front, we have a front here, a block, that has the size already, so I don't have to do anything on that, that's chaffy isn't it? only thing that I uh, see is how the holes are not really, well it doesn't matter, this is just really nice, actually I can work out all the holes in there, put that on there, I can uh, rivet that on together, so uh, well, but I think we are uh, well on our way, so the uh, only thing I want to say is uh, bear in mind, uh, and hopefully it is not uh, too boring for you, I will show you in between the construction of that suitcase where that is all going to be in. So uh, I will show you how uh, it is done, uh, how the leather is uh, put on and so on and so on. Uh, try to get this uh, nails to, uh, to make, they make it look shiny and whatever. So it does a lot of work. And it does me uh, think about Ron Grasslinger. Uh, the man is absolutely brilliant, absolutely. I have the greatest respect for Ron. Um, Ron, you're, if you're looking at this, you are a marvelous person, really. I really admire you and I'm a great fan of you. And um, yeah, I really enjoy when you are uh, get the box right. <laughs> I really enjoy that, the way you do that. Anyway, uh, Ron, uh, have fun with your next projects. And, um, and guys, you, uh, I will see you later, alright?